The Book Night by Ellie Wiesel. Hi, I'm Emma Rosenthal, and I'm going to talk to you about Night by Ellie Wiesel. I'm going to be answering some questions about the book Night. The first question is, what were your main reactions to reading the book Night? My reaction to reading the book Night, I was excited to read a book even though I do not like reading. Um, my biggest reaction to reading the book Night is that I love reading stuff about the Holocaust and any history for that matter. I'm a big history person. I also have my grandfather. He left Switzerland at, to come to the US during the Holocaust. So that's a big part of my family because my dad's first generation American. Because um, my grandpa was born in Germany and moved to Switzerland. My grandfather was three when he came to the US. We don't know how he got to Switzerland, but we do know how he came from Switzerland to the US. Um, he's still alive today and um, it's a big story that my family carries. Um, another question was, what were your primary emotions that you felt while reading Night? My main emotion was, I felt really sad in some parts. Um, it made me very sad to see how Nazis treated Jews and any people in general, like people that had disabilities. Everybody should is unique in their own way and it should be okay that way. There are still people that don't like other people that are different from them, which I don't think is right. Everybody's different in their own way and people should be proud of how they are different. Like, I'm Jewish, but I might not look it. I look more German than Jewish and other people were, some people were killed in the Holocaust because they looked Jewish even though they weren't or other Jews like me looked more German so they weren't killed because the Nazis didn't think they were Jewish. So life is unfair that way and life's, a lesson is that life is not always fair and that you all can't always get what you want and these days we should be thankful for that we're not going through something like that, even though right now there's COVID-19 that is happening. I've selected two parts in the book Night um, that have impacted me or touched my heart in a way. The first one is on page seven in the book Night. It's the part when Moisha the Beetle comes back to his town after being taken by Nazis because he's a poor Hasidic Jew. And P kept um, warning the other people in the town that they were going to come. And here's a quote that stood out to me. They think I'm mad, he whispered, and tears, like drops of wax, flowed from his eyes. Once I asked him the question, why do you want people to believe you so much? In your place, I would not care whether they believe me or not. He closed his eyes as if to escape time. You don't understand, he said in despair. You cannot understand. I was saved miraculously. I succeeded in coming back. Where did I get my strength? That part really stands out to me because if you think about it, he's giving them a warning, a big warning and big heads up. This is why people and we teach kids when they're younger that you need to have good listening ears because if something bad were to happen, you need to listen. And they weren't believing Moisha the Beetle. And for me, that would make me feel very sad if I were Moisha the Beetle because I want to save my friends and people that I care about. Even though he didn't have much, he still really cared about them. And it makes me sad to see how the townspeople in that town 
when they were in great danger, did not listen. And it just shows us how we need to listen when we're being told something or if there's an emergency, because from the Holocaust, we can learn a lot of things, which is why it's important to tell the stories. And I have a question about that later to answer. The second part that really stood out to me and touched my heart was on page 75. They were getting, they were getting checked for people who were weak or who were, was ready to go be killed, who the Nazis thought they didn't need around anymore. And so Eliezer, Eli Wiesel's dad was chosen and written on the list as one of the people in one of the checks. But then there was another check after and Eli Wiesel's dad ended up not having to go die. But this part, go get killed in the gas chamber. But this part really stood out. This was when Ellie found out that his dad was chosen as one of the people to go die in a gas chamber. This is what stands out. Here, take this knife, he said. I won't need it anymore. You may find it useful. Also, take this spoon. Don't sell it, quickly. Go ahead, take what I'm giving you. My inheritance. Don't talk like that father i was on the verge of breaking into sobs it's really sad for ellie who at the time was about 12 years old to have his dad who was not perfectly healthy but he was still alive and okay at the time telling him that you're gonna need these i'm, I'm gonna go die soon and knowing that he's gonna go die and not being able to fight it off, but in the end, being able to me not end up dying. I was asked how my understanding of the Holocaust changed by reading the book Night. My understanding of the Holocaust didn't really change. It just rung its little bell in my head that just gave me a reminder of what happened, how everybody was treated like animals besides all the Nazis. They were like royalty then by Hitler. They were all treated very cruelly and treated like animals. Um, they all wore the same thing. They all had like, their hair was all cut off. They were all the same. And that's not how people should be. It should be everybody's unique in their own way, just how it was before that happened because there are people then with disabilities, people like all different races, like from all different colors and everything. And then they kind of ruined that, but now it's back to normal besides some people who still are like that, which should not be the case. Um, but it just shows how badly they were treated from someone who actually experienced it and tells his strong story about it. The next question I was asked. The question you just saw was the one that I said there was a question about later, earlier in the video. This question is a very important question we teach other people about the Holocaust because it is important so it doesn't ever happen again. We also learn from what has happened from it and make sure it doesn't happen anymore by learning about it. It's also important to share stories and tell how it impacts people and maybe your family. The Holocaust in general has a big spot in my heart because when you think about everybody whose family they lost and everybody who died in the Holocaust, that's a big number. And they were killed, whether they were Jewish, whether they had a disability or not. Everybody was made to be weak by the Nazis. They weakened them by not, not feeding them, by working them a lot very and very hard. And then 
once they decided, oh, they're not strong enough, they sent them to the gas chamber, which is almost what happened to Ellie Wiesel's dad. Um, so it is very important that we learn from this and make sure it never happens again. And that is what I thought about reading this book and the unit.